my plan is here. Take the cameras out, mount the cameras, balance the tent. Shut the door. Right? Shut the door. And we're good to go. Yeah. For too long, space tourism has been the preserve of the super rich. We here at Van Gogh believe that space camping will reclaim space tourism for the rest of us. The crew will mostly be packing sandwiches, hot drinks and cereal bars for this trip as it's a shorter one. If it was to be a longer family trip, they would probably want to take some boil in the bag, possibly a wayfarer and a stove as well to heat things. It gets pretty cold up there. The command module is based on a standard Flux 200. Uh, it's a small lightweight tent and we believe this is perfect for interstellar camping. We run, we run the simulation to work out um, where it's going to land and then we're good to go, fill the balloon and we're off. The other guys use rockets, planes, launching pads. So much to go wrong. At Vango, we believe in keeping things simple. Right. And now you should just pop out of your hands. We have a bit of... Hold on to it. Up. Hey! <laughs> That's just surreal. We expect the balloon to rise at the rate of about 5 meters per second. In about an hour and 40 minutes, it will reach a maximum altitude of just over 31 kilometers, at which point the balloon will burst and it will begin its descent. We have uh, GPS trackers on the command module. So that's where it is at the moment. Which give us location updates once every four minutes or so, which we should be able to pick up on our computers. Initially, like, it went that way, but then it kind of changed its mind and started going that way once it caught the jet stream. It's moved a long way. Yeah. So it will slow down again as it goes over the jet stream, and then it'll be nice and high, good photos. And then when it bursts, it goes back down, and then it goes through the jet stream again and gets dragged along, and then it goes through it and then lands somewhere. Is there any danger we're going to overshoot Scotland? There's always that There's danger. There's always that danger. When you're sitting in your tent, eating your ham sandwich and looking out the window at the curvature of Earth, it's unbelievable. When you combine it with some hot ribbon and a pasty, you've got an unforgettable experience. The module will uh, rise at a rate of about 5.5 metres per second. Following its burst at 31 kilometers, it will begin descending at a very high rate first, exceeding probably 80 meters per second. As it falls through the troposphere, the parachute will begin slowing its descent, eventually down to about 6 meters per second, close to the ground. The command module will make its descent uh, down, back down to air. We have a real-time feed uh, letting us know exactly where it is at any point. So we're going to uh, send a crew out to go and uh, retrieve the, uh, the module. What, it is setting up? Is that the right way around? It's up to the crew to find a safe landing spot. There's plenty of areas for them to select to land it. We're hoping for a nice gentle landing. fun in sitting in a tin can surrounded by six inches of perspex. That's why next time we take a trip into space we believe space camping is the way forward. <laughs>